Welcome back to Defender's Voice. This is Dr. Paul. Thank you for joining us today. Our program is dedicated to answering your questions from biblical viewpoint. If you want to share your viewpoint, share it in the comment section. We don't suppress truth under any circumstances. Please subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.drpaul.org and subscribe to our podcast. Send me your questions to info at drpaul.org. We will discuss your questions in the coming episodes. Today's question, why do many celebrity Christians leave Christianity? That is a very interesting question. In recent years, We have seen many celebrities leaving Christian faith. Hillsong songwriter Marty Samson left Christianity. Joshua Harris, author of a best-selling book, and a former megachurch pastor left Christianity. Dave Gass, former pastor at Covenant Church, left Christianity. And recently, just a week or so, Paul Maxwell, the Desiring God writer, left Christianity. And he won't be the last one. You will see more people leaving Christianity in the coming years. Now, we naturally ask, why is that so? Many Christians do not follow God. Almost a million people left Egypt for the promised land. But only two individuals, Joshua and Caleb, made it to the promised land. Most of the Israelites left Egypt for the sake of leaving Egypt. My neighbors are leaving, so I am leaving. And many people go to church because people around them go to church. Cultural Christianity. Many people accept Jesus as Savior because people around them accept Jesus. They may even join in the choir and find out they have great talents, become famous and dish Christianity along the way. Most Israelites perished in the wilderness because they were not following God with faith. They could not stand the tests and trials and temptations of the wilderness journey. Same is true today. Many professed Christians give up because they cannot stand the tests and the trials and the temptations of the journey. Now, love has a big role in uh, establishing relationship between two individuals. When we got married, my wife told me, I will go wherever you go because I love you. Those words touch in my heart. I will go wherever you go. Over the years, I moved from place to place. I lost my jobs. I lost my income. I went through many problems. But she is always with me. Why is she staying with me? Because she loves me. If you love someone so much, you can't leave them. I was watching the funeral of Prince Philip over the weekend. At one point, the queen arrives to lay her husband of 73 years to rest. She brings with her a picture of her and of Prince Philip on their wedding day. What kept them together for 73 years? It is love. They loved each other so much. The same is true with Jesus. When we love Jesus, we follow him wherever he is. Simon Peter had many doubts in his life, but he knew one thing for sure, he loved Jesus. There were times he even denied Jesus, but he regretted and went back to Jesus right away because he loved Jesus so much. Let me show you a passage from John chapter 6. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? 
He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. Note verse 66. Many of his disciples went back, left Jesus. When Jesus was in this world in flesh and blood, many of his disciples left him for other things. So we should not be surprised to see many of the disciples leaving him today in our time. Jesus looked at the remaining disciples and asked them, Why are you staying with me? Why are you not leaving? Simon Peter said, Lord, where shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We are sure that you are Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus is the eternal Son of God, folks. If anyone leaves Jesus for any reason, that person is the loser. A loser for eternity. Jesus has never been a loser. Remember that. He is always on his throne. Then Jesus says, I have chosen the twelve of you, but one of you is of the devil. And Jesus was talking about Judas Iscariot. Judas loved the worldly things and sold his soul to Satan. If you leave Jesus for any reason, you sold your soul to Satan. So Satan planted Judas among those twelve disciples. Even today, Satan is doing the same thing. In the Gospel of John, chapter 21, after resurrection, Jesus asks Peter, Peter, do you love me? Peter, do you love me? Peter, do you love me? He asked him three times, do you love me? That is the question he asks every Christian. Do you love me? Because that determines how long you stay with Jesus. Peter became the leader of the early church followed Lord Jesus all the days of his life and was crucified for his faith. He never gave up on Jesus because he always loved Jesus. You see those two things in Peter's life, knowledge and love, knowledge and love, both are needed to follow Christ. Knowledge alone does not help. Peter had both. He told Jesus, Lord, I cannot leave you. I know and I am sure that you are the son of the living God. Peter came to realize that Jesus is the one who he claimed it to be. He is the Messiah. And after knowing Jesus, he loved Jesus. The knowledge of Christ and the love for Christ made him a great Christian. And he never left Jesus even when the Romans were nailing him to a cross. So that should help answer your question. Why do celebrity Christians, or any Christian for that matter, leave Jesus? Knowledge and love. They don't know Jesus. They don't love Jesus. So if you know Jesus and if you love him, you will never leave Jesus, no matter what. So that's all for today, folks. Please share your comments. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And send your questions to us. May God richly bless you.